I believe us coming together gives us a, a, a unique, unfair advantage that most people that's never been an athlete never get a chance to experience. And if we can figure out how to do that collectively as a whole and that becomes the new norm, we can dominate and be elite in any level of life once we're done playing our game on any platform that we would ever enter into. And that's the main reason why I feel that's important for athletes to unite. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's, it's Jonathan Jones, and I'm one half of, of the Athletes Unite uh, podcast where, you know, the focus and the goal here is ultimately to really help train and position athletes so that they can be prepared to successfully transition life after sports. Man, and today we have the one, the only, Mr. Derek Furlow Jr., He's a, he's, a, he's a transformational, transformational speaker. Uh, he's an author, entrepreneur, volunteer. He's a volunteer, y'all. He, he wore, that, wore that beautiful, that beautiful orange, that white. Man, D Derek, talk to us, brother. How we doing, man? Man, we're alive and well, man. How you living, brother? Thank for first off, thanks for having us on, man. Thanks for what you're doing for the Athletes Unite Conference, brother. Man, it's a pleasure to get a chance to kick it with your rap with you once again, man. Good to see your face. Good to hear your voice. Yeah, man. Likewise, bro. Likewise. I mean, I know we know we well overdue. I know we've been connected in these social media streets. So, man, man, here we are. Perfect alignment. Perfect yes, alignment. sir. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. Glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so tell us, who who is Derek Furlow Jr.? Man, man, it, it, it's kind of funny. It depends on the capacity you know me in, man. Um, from 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 the athlete, from the entrepreneur, from from just your 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 everyday neighborhood hero out here just trying to put people in position to win, man. Um, from an athletic perspective, now I try to help people put people in position to transition like a champion. So depending on the era, man. Like when I when I was growing up, I was the the, the nappy head little kid that was trying to figure out how to be good at sports. And then if, if you met me later on, I was that cat that was good at sports. And then in t whole time in between, I might have been that cat that was just a hustle in between, just trying to figure this thing out, figure out how how can you actually get paid and make it. And then when it all came down on the back end, when the, when the NFL dream didn't work out, I'm glad that I was trying to figure out how to get paid and make it because it was more than one way to, to go out here and make life happen. Um, if that, that that dream didn't come to fruition like it didn't in my life, so it, it's I, I'm 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 just a another guy, man, child of God out here trying to make a play every single day, man, and, and put people in position to transition like a champion. Man, yeah, I, I love it, and and, and I lo I love how you've really taken that and you've worn that transition like a champion badge because every time I see you. You know, you're like I can see the athlete in you. Well, I can see the athlete within you in the spaces that you're in and how you move and you know how, how you're connecting with people. And I'm like, this brother out here, this brother out here doing two a days. Like his brother, a corporate athlete doing the two a days out here. What Derek got going on? Hey man, hey, you, you, we, we we got it. Hey, you you said it, bro. Look, it, it, the the game in. But but you really just transition to another game. So I realized, man, all that work we put in, blood, sweat, tears, effort, energy, um, the the ups, the downs, the highs and lows, it created some intangible, transferable skills. And I realized, look, just because I'm in another game, don't mean I can't take the skill set, that mindset, and make it relevant in another phase of my life. And if you can do that, it just make you even more of a dog in that next phase. And you don't feel like you're starting over. You don't feel like you're um, at a disadvantage. So I like to call it our unfair advantage. And that's a lot of things athletes have. However, a lot of us don't don't tend to tap into them. So um, my job is just to make sure we realize we, we, we got an unfair advantage. We just got to figure out what those intangible transferable skills are and then just go find a space that you can correlate those things over, carry them over to, and then just go dominate and ball. So like you said, man, two a days in, in two a day corporate space, whatever you want to call it, two a day in the entrepreneurial world, whatever you want to call it, we out here getting it, hey, the grind don't stop. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure, for sure. Man, we know we got the conference coming up, man. I'm 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 super excited about the conference coming up next month. You know, the the, the 15th and the 16th. And y'all out there, if you haven't got your ticket yet, punch your ticket. ticket. You know, you you got time to get the flight, you got time to get your reservations. Uh and make sure you go to you know shake it out LLC on Instagram. The link is in the bio there to get your ticket, and we'll have it down in the show notes. But uh Derek, man, talk talk to me. Why why is it important, man, for, for athletes to unite? We've been united, and when we look at it from a sports perspective, we've been united in every sport we play. Now, most or or team sports, and you got some that's individual, but you're still on a team. And we all know together, everyone achieves more. That's the, that's that's what that team 
acronym comes together and means. So when it comes down to now that you're no longer playing, or if you are still playing, you got to realize when you transition or if you're still in that game, you're not in this thing alone. And a lot of times we find ourselves isolated, whether we hurt, injured, our career come to an end, or we have that success um, more than our peers, whatever that looks like. And we find ourselves isolated and feeling that we might be the only one going through some stuff. And really, at the end of the day, you're not the only one going through it. You, you ain't you, you, you wasn't the only athlete to ever exist, and you won't be the other the only athlete to ever exist. And a lot of other athletes are probably feeling those same feelings, thinking those same thoughts, um, being in those same shoes that you were in. And if we can, can unite, it just gives that one that's coming behind us an unfair advantage to realize um, I don't have to feel this way, I don't have to go to this alone because somebody else done been there, done that. And guess what? It may be an easier path or 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 a direction that I can take all these intangible transferable skills that I learned from the game and use and apply to my life that I never thought about because I'm united with some other athletes and I've been there and done that before me. So I believe us coming together gives us a, a, a unique, unfair advantage that most people that's never been an athlete never get a chance to experience. And if we can figure out how to do that collectively as a whole and that becomes the new norm, we can dominate and be elite in any level of life once we're done playing our game on any platform that we ever enter into. And that's the main reason why I feel that's important for athletes to unite. Yeah, man, I think I think that's so strong, even with the uh, even like what we're talking about a little bit offline before we started, um, which we were talking a little bit about, like the mental health aspect. And, you know, that that's that's one of the emphasis for the for our conference this year. But one thing that we must understand is that when we come together around that, we have the conversations, sharing the stories, sharing the struggles. Sharing, you know, just like like just like just like you said, you know, you had the NFL dream, you know, it, it fell short. But then how do you go from that falling short and then knowing, ah, how do I how do I get to the next level? Just like you said, we, we got to unite, though, have those conversations. And then j- just just like the work you're doing, you're giving the game, you know, to these young leaders. It's like, look, you can still be in a position as a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, so that when the game is over, it's just a it's, it's just like the the train just switching over on another track it's it's still in motion it's just sliding over instead of whoop, stop what, what what are we doing where, where are we going and and losing life man so I, I really i really can appreciate that though just you you know hitting on and breaking that down because i think it's necessary more people need to understand like you can talk to other athletes like now and then Derek, correct me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong right but things have changed in the space of athletics because there once was a point where if you want two different teams across the country you're not talking to each other y'all ain't talking about nothing nowhere it's just trash talking the game and i'm gonna see you when i see you but now young men and young ladies like they're friends talking before games and stuff so we can we can collaborate that's and, it you know and build Co- collaboration is the new game bro like you said the game don't end you just change lanes and those those that have their proper tools and proper mindset and the proper people in the vehicle with them, when they change lane, they're going to accelerate and get to that desired destination, desired goal a whole lot faster. So um, with the way things done change, collaboration helps you get to that destination a whole lot faster. Because if you don't, you got to go figure it out on your own, take some L's, get your head knocked in, um, go through some trials and tribulations. And in life, you're going to go through that anyway. But if you know where the roadblock at or the road out ahead is at, and you can be with some athletes that have been there, done that, and you can get some guidance, some wisdom, some mentorship, and you don't make those same mistakes, which we learn in sports. I done been on the sideline plenty of times when coach telling you, watch, watch the ones, get these mental reps, watching the game, get these mental reps. So when you get in the game, you don't make the same mistakes that the guy in front of you just made or the female in front of you just made. We've been doing that for the longest. But why when we get out the game? When we take this life approach to it, this business approach to it, this entrepreneur approach to it, this manager approach to it, this employee approach to it, we don't watch those people that's in front of us to realize, okay, she did that, he did this, all right, I can't do that. Now, that was smart. I'm going to take that right there, put my own little razzle-dazzle on it. Okay, I, oh, yeah, when it's when it my turn, I'm a ball. Like, same thing in the corporate space, same thing in the entrepreneurial space, same thing in the, in the employee space. And the kicker is, as an athlete, we done got mental reps. We done sit on the sideline and watch. We done been around people that was probably better than us to some degree and had to and had to get right. So if we just take the same mindset and correlate to anything else, we got a learning curve that gives us an unfair advantage because we have a way of processing it that's going to get us where we want to go. But a lot of times we don't bother to collaborate. We try to keep it to ourselves. Then we go through ourselves. And then you got to go down through there dealing with some stuff that you didn't have to deal with if you would have just talked to your neighbor, talk to your homie that that play up the street from you or come to a conference like Athletes Unite that's going to allow you to get with more of your peers 
who may be going through some of those things or grew through those things that you're finna go through next or that you're finna get rid of the face. Hence, that's why I wrote the book, What's Next, How to Transition Like a Champion so I can get a game away. And then you can have a better advantage when you're done than I had. So that's the name of the game. And, and the cool thing about it is if you get around the right people, they're going to give you the game for free. And at some point in time, you're going to have to pay a fee, which go to the conference, pay a fee to get the rest of the game. But at some point, if you collaborate, you'll get some of that game for free. Man, say, say, hold on, wait. There's a few things I want to say. First of all, y'all, first of all, we're we gonna have a link down to we're gonna have a link in the show note to, to Derek's book. You need you need to grab your copy. All right. You need to grab your copy because he's been where you are and he's even places that you haven't even thought about going just yet. So you gotta get your you gotta get your copy. We're gonna have the link down in the show notes. But Derek, hold on, man. You 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 man, hold on, man. You coming out here with some of these words, man. My man said mental reps. Ooh. Come on, bro. Oh, we got to We got to slow down on that one for a second, because we think the mistake has to happen in real time. We think we have to make the mistake. And just like what you were talking about in terms of collaboration, bro, it is so difficult. OK, let, let's 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 give a real life example, Derek. Let's give a real life example, bro. I've gone out and I've built a website. It took me probably like three months to build out a website. It still wasn't completely functional. And it still didn't do everything I wanted it to do. I found somebody else. I hired them. I paid them 300 And then she had it up in like three weeks. It did stuff that I didn't even think about it to do because I got smart and I collaborated. Just like what you said. Y'all out there listening, let me calm down. Let me calm down. This is why, this is why I need to be at the conference. Okay? Because for one, you're going to get FaceTime with, with, with Mr. Derek Furlow Jr. Okay? Y'all. He's he's speaking out here and he's people are break people are cutting the check for Derek to speak to hear what he has to say because he's gone through the journey of an athlete. And I mean, now he's still an athlete, so he still operates at that level, which is elite. He's an author. Y'all, if I, I was at a conference, Derek, somebody walked to me, and they said, I've never seen a black author before. If you're in that space, you need to be at this conference because you need to ask Derek, how did he get started in the book? Why did he write the book? How did he? You need to start asking people some questions because this is conversation time to where it would cost somebody else a consultation fee to where somebody is stroking a check to get Derek's time. So I want y'all to understand, man, Derek, I'm about to just get fired up, bro. bro I got to hear it, need to hear it, now, man. Need to hear it bro. Man, so because we 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 have to understand when you're in the limelight and when you're a college athlete, you're winning right now because people are glorifying you. But it's almost to the point to where it's fool's goal, because if you don't take advantage of the platform that you have, when you lose the platform, you lost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro. Man, no. all right. So, with, with that being said, right there, people want to hang out with you because of your status. You make them look good. You make them feel good. You make them look cool. Well, if you are around these people and hanging out with these people, and you ain't picking their brain on, or, or for one, building relationships, true relationships that's just not surface level, deep, and getting to know these people, figuring out what schools they're going to, what's their plans, what they look, at, what can they, what are they looking to achieve, so you can get into that network because people are gonna do business with people they know they like and they trust. And this is the kicker. College is the best place to network. You got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people going to one place. All they're going to do is graduate and spread out around the country. Well, if you actually use your stage and your relationships when you're there, get into different circles, you got the biggest network out there available. And at some point in time, they're going to say, man, look, I met this ball player. She was sharp. He was sharp. Or as y'all continue to, to communicate and connect, they, they know you more than just being an athlete. And they're going to bring you into circles and opportunities and bring you to the table. Or you're going to come up with some things that you're going to need help on. And you're going to be able to reach out to those people that you that know that you know that don't want you just for your name and your brand. And you can bring them to the table and they all can truly collaborate. But at the end of the day, if you're just going just to go play whatever sport you play at that university, you're missing the boat. Because outside of playing that sport, it's the best networking opportunity out there outside of social media because you're around those people. And they actually want to hang out with you. Now, whether you need to hang out with all of them, different story. Whether all of them got something they're going to bring to the table, different story. That's your job to sift through it. But at the end of the day, it's some sharp people in the building where you at. 
how are you taking advantage of their name, image, and likeness? Just the way they're gonna take advantage of yours. How are you taking advantage of those relationships? They gonna they, they turn so those contacts they can turn into contracts, just like they want to take take advantage of yours. So that's what this game is all about. However, if you don't come to these events and come to come to after these night conference, you gonna you gonna miss the game, and you gonna have to start you gonna have to start farther behind than what you really need to start. If you don't collaborate and connect with athletes, you got to go gain this knowledge, and it might put you four or five years behind. If you just show up to a conference, invest in yourself, just like you invest in your body, just like you invest in, 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 in the game that's going to get you to the next level. What if you don't go? Well, invest in your mind. So it's a lot of different levels to it. We can talk about a lot of different things, but that's what showing up to a, a, a Athletes Unite conference is going to allow you to do. It's going to allow you to get around other people and get a different perspective. And the moment you get a perspective, the moment you can view it different, the moment you can do it different. But a lot of times, if you got the same perspective, doing the same old thing, you get the same old results and wonder why you're in the same old place. Man, we got to keep moving. My man said contacts will turn into contracts. Facts. Oh, oh, oh. Derek, oh my good. Y'all got to get to the conference, man. Y'all got to get, man, say. Y'all got so 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 Derek, what what are, what are you most excited about with with the with the Athletes Unite conference? What 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 gets you most excited about coming to the conference? Man, I'm I'm excited. I had a chance um me and, me and class had a chance to talk and um as we spoke, I said, "Hey, class, I'm working on some mental health stuff." Um, I actually got a CEO of a public traded company, um, and we've been doing a lot of good stuff together. So we have a phone call and sure enough, we was able to get, um, Katie in the building to speak. Um, so she's going to be speaking in that conference. And, um, I spent a lot of time with Katie. She's great at what she does. And we found a way to speak the athletic lingo. Um, so athletes can understand how, 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 how this mental cardio can help you, um, advance to the next level. Um, a lot of the times. When it comes down to it, we, we do a lot of things for our body, but we don't do a lot of things for our mind. So I know in, 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 in traditional sports, you got performance enhancing drugs. A lot of that stuff is illegal. Um, but as, as, as I've learned over the past couple of years in my space, you got performance enhancing therapy and that's for your mind. That's real legal. So at the end of the day, it's going to help you become the best who you can be mentally. And it's going to allow you to perform how you need to be perform optimally. But that's that mental health. That's that mental cardio. And a lot of times we're dealing with a lot of stuff we didn't even realize is weighing on us. It's bogging us down as a person. It's bogging us down as an athlete. So it's levels to it. And I know we we built tough. We built strong. We built to push through. We built to persevere. Um, but at some point in time, that thing going to make you or it's going to break you. And at some point in time, you're going to face something that's going to make you sit back and have to realize you need some help. And it's okay. Like, it's okay. It, like, that. that's that's the fact of the matter. It's okay. So, um I want us to just be able to have some people that's going to educate us so now we can come to the table, not with these egos and, and, and break that stigma of realizing, look, we put all this time with the spirit, mental, with the, with the physical cardio in, uh, physical conditioning in. You may even, if, you, if, if you're tight, you might be getting your, spirit, your spiritual conditioning in. What about your mental conditioning? What about your personal development? So it's levels to being an overall well-encompassed human being. And um, we're humans first before we're athletes. So at the end of the day, we got to just remove ourselves from those titles and, and get outside the box and realize we need to be working on ourselves overall. So I'm excited for the conference of getting a chance to have um, some athletes um, that look like me um, in the building and then some knowledge that's coming from the other side of the table that we don't get access to. So now we educated and aware that there are opportunities, there are programs, there are things out there that can help us be more well rounded and get to where we want to go, whether it's on the field, on the court, in the pool, on the track or just in corporate or entrepreneurship across the board. So we don't feel like we're going through these things alone and know that it is help available and you can get help. And that don't mean you're weak. That don't mean, you, um, not, that don't mean you're that um, you less than anything that you thought you was going to be. It's just giving you that unfair advantage because you're actually aware that you need help and you go get it. And when you're in class and you're studying for a test and you need help, you go get a tutor. When, you, when you're in a weight room and you're struggling, bitching, and you need help, you get your spotter. When you're an athlete, period, and you need help working on your game, it's called a coach. What's wrong with what, what's wrong with getting therapy for your mind? So it's levels to it, man. I just want people to get a chance to see it from themselves, hear it from themselves, and you take it how you want to take it. Use it how you want to use it. That's completely up to you. But you can't do what you need to do if you don't have a clue. Man, there, there it is. There it is. Derek, man, I appreciate you, man, coming on. Blessing, blessing the podcast, man. I know, I know you're going to bless the conference as well. Man, you gave, gave man, you gave us more than an appetizer. Hey, bro. But uh, man, Derek, please let please let let people know where where they can find you, how they can follow you, and everything like that at this time. Derek Furlow Jr. on IG, Twitter, 
Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think even TikTok now, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-F-U-R-L-O-W-J-R. Um, check out the website, DerekFurlow.com and SportsLifeBusiness.com. Boom. There, there it is. There it is. Y'all, one more time, one more time. If you have not registered, you need to definitely be at the Athletes Unite Conference. It's going to be a life-changing event, and it's going to be life-changing the world of athletics because we're going to expose you to mental health, just like Derek was talking about. We're going to break down some resources talking about uh, how athletes can create businesses, career opportunities through sports, entrepreneurship, technology. It's something for everybody. So if you haven't got your tickets and you're on Instagram, right, be sure to go to uh, follow Shakeout LLC. Uh, and then we're also going to have the link down below in the show notes to where you can register for uh, the conference. But once again, y'all, this is th this is the Athletes Unite podcast where ultimately we're positioning you and equipping you so that you can be successful going into your life post sports all right i'm jonathan jones that's the Derek furlow jr and y'all we out of here peace